Hello and welcome back. Let's just get back to right back into the action. Come on, one hit kill, one hit kill, one hit kill, one hit kill. Oh, damn it. As you can see at my name I've got 13 hits, which means I do well, a lot more damage than them. Gabe's got four and Tycho. Yes, he has three now. Three is a good number. It is a very respectable number. And there we go. All gone. Ah, it's a tougher one. We shall have to Ah no damn it, I missed that one. I wasn't paying attention. Die, beam! Ah, Gabriel's lost some of his speed, so he might not be going first, and now I'll just finish this one with a SWAT. Boom! There we go, we get three oranges, seven pieces of metal, and two band-aids. Our time together is almost at an end. See, it ain't so, boys! What? And to think, I had such plans! Huh? Plans that would have taken the fall. Once our windsurfing was concluded. Oh yeah, no more windsurfing. There is no time. Oh, not even a little. I send a mewling babe to battle steel devils on the rain slick precipice of darkness. What? Well, I suppose it can't be helped. It could. Let me leave you with this at least. Your new friends have granted you a refuge. In their supernatural agency. Because they're cool like you that. You may access it at any time by pressing the triangle button. Yay, triangle. Here you may travel about the city, examine your inventory, and research the current case. Awesome. You might start by selecting the map and visiting a young woman by the name of Anne Claire. Anne Claire Raw. Charming girl. And with that... I wish you luck. Sayonara voice. And faith. And time. Sayonara. I really don't understand the logo. Which logo? Our company logo. I don't get it. What's not to get? Here, I can break it down. Startling Developments, I mean. That's the name of the agency. Gotta have that one there. Mm -hmm. Curious about the... What do you... Why did you name it Startling Developments? Oh, I understand that part. Because sometimes, you know, some shit happens and all of a sudden then you're like, Whoa. Yes. I may have worded it differently. But I believe you have captured the spirit. What is the meaning behind this symbol? I'm glad you asked. The gear symbolizes the irresponsible farce of the modern world. The eye represents the deep sight, deep sight required to see through it. Deep <laughs> sight. And, um, the lightning bolt? The lightning bolt symbolizes being awesome! Yeah! I've really been enriched by this whole... thing. Fantastic, then let us move on. New case! You can now visit Aunt Claire. Alright, simply because I am a complete nerd and a foolish person. And I shall be naming any characters from the series that feature in this game and who they are. Alright, first off, this is Jim. Jim was in the series and, well, his name was Jim. You click him and he does stuff. This is a D20. You get a 20, that robot explodes. I didn't get a 20, so we'll try again later. Let's visit Anne Claire. In the comic, he, she's Tycho's niece. Doesn't change here, except unless she's yes, pretty much a genius. Boys, you're back! If only Mummy knew what you were up to, so very late at night. That's sinister sounding. Yes, we shall save our progress here. Do 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 do. Turn, turn. Okie dokie. Let's go. Let's talk to Anne Claire. Good, good niece, you give me hope for this wasted and feral generation. And uncle, do you still battle with the dark gods? On occasion. Your parents, still seeing the world, I take it? Yes, perpetually so. New Arcadia is a part of the world as well, if they would only remember to visit it. 
Oh well, I have my studies, my tools, and my hobbies, as it were. I see. I need not worry then. And Claire smiles. Uncle, it is not I who larks and crips and such like. True, child, true enough. I have not had the pleasure. This is my darling niece, Anne Claire Forthwith. She has a fondness for machines, and they her. To the extent that machines feel fondness, I suppose. In any case, I sometimes bring her things she needs for her projects, and we have come to rely on her expertise. How do you do? This is quite a room. I'm pleased you like it. It is a little cramped these days, but somehow I persevere. And look, I have recently hung a new poster of Dr. Lars Krangel, world-renowned roboticist. Who is in this second? A new poster of Dr. Lars Krangel, world-renowned roboticist. Who is in this second game? There is an extensive interview with him in this month's edition. Month's edition of Whirly Gig. Whirly Gig. I find him quite dreamy in the modern Parians. Ha ha ha. Your title is niece, but your last name isn't Bray. It's complex. Her father doesn't especially like being my brother. The Bray clan has a reputation for. Hmm. A reputation for. Insanity? We like evil tombs. I don't know how else to say it. He left home as soon as he was able and changed his name. He's done quite well for himself. We're tracking a giant robot. Seems like your kind of thing. My interest is piqued. Actually, there are several robots. My heart is a flutter. I thought you might be pleased. There's a large robot, the one that destroyed my house, and a number of smaller ones that look like it. They resemble one another. Strange. We've been collecting samples of the machines as we move about the sea. These machines are not whole, then. Well, they were whole before we smashed them. Smashed them. They're mean. They walk around on two legs and try to, um, pierce things. Tycho coughs gently. Yeah, and the big one who wrecked my house, I don't know if I mentioned that. Even the smallest remnant of these machines could prove vital. You should find as many as you can. With enough parts, I will know more. We may even be able to use these parts ourselves. Where should we start looking now? Well, seismically speaking, the Hobo Alley district has been spiking off the graph. That might be consistent with a bipedal mechanoid. Perhaps you should start your search there. We shall. Because I'm afraid if I don't move soon, I'll waste an entire video just reading for you. You think Hobo Alley is our best bet? Indeed, I'm certain of it. Turn it once without with any bobbles. Oh, see you around. Why do you talk to her like that? Like what? Like Thuava Who Forth and So Ridding Woo. I don't know, like some kind of asshole. I'm going for a more weird college professor. Weird is definitely coming across. I think that's the right word. Weird, yes. Finally, someone else who talks sense. Honestly. I'm not sure why I do it. It's almost like our secret language. Well, I can hardly understand it. I guess it's working then. Ah, quick note. If you inspect, it's either this, this portrait here... There, that one. You get concept art. I think if you inspect that one above her bed as well, you get something, but I'm not sure. But ah well, simple because we're almost out of time. Let's move to Hobo Alley. In fact, let's roll the dice again. Damn you! To Hobo Alley. Five bucks says you guys can't guess what lives here. And again, no one will probably watch this because I have no subscribers. Those who are my subscribers, please watch this. Hobo Alley is aptly named for. Well, I suppose you'll find out soon really? enough. What makes you say that voice? Away! Die, trash can! Let's talk to this muscle bound gentleman. Oh, hello. Hey there. Hey. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. Who said anything was going on? 
Nobody. No, just nothing is going on. Five out of ten. I'm gonna say five out of ten. All right. Great. Fine. Kind of a rough part of town, huh? In some ways, but we're getting back on our feet. Goddamn wizards. Hey, have you seen any huge robots around here? Uh, no, no huge robots, but... But what? Do you see any huge robots? Not at the moment, no. How about these huge footprints? Uh, those, uh... Yeah, I heard they were putting in a subway. Well, I bet the rent around here is pretty cheap. Oh, are you looking? Yeah, the rent's right as rain, but the landlord you got to look out for. Guy that runs the shithole, I'm not kidding, that's what it's called. Up north, blonde fella. I'd probably stay away from that one. Well, see you around.